You know, Roxanne, for someone as beautiful as you, you got a lot of loser friends. I mean, you got the simp bear, you got the chubby chicken, and you got the wannabe vector. Hey, don't talk about my friends like that. I'm the only one who can insult Freddy. Hey, don't yell at me because you need some better friends. Oh, that's real big talk coming from the edgy emo hedgehog. Talk like that to me again, and I'm going to show you the power of chaos control. Hey, I don't care who you are. You don't talk to Roxanne like that. Oh, look at that. There's a volunteer for me to show you it. Chaos control! <laughs> ah! Uh-uh-uh, little rat. I'd stay away. I'm not above fighting a baby. <laughs> huh. So, you want the smoke? Then I guess I'll bring the fire. Did I honestly just get beat up by a baby? Little superstars, you're not in your cribs. Where'd you go? They're not here in Chico's room either. I thought she would have made them pizza or something. Thank God they're not here in Monty's room. This guy never cleans the place. Oh, I know where they're at. Oh no, they're not there either. I must have lost them forever. Calm down, Freddy, calm down. The little darlings are right here. Okay, one more turn here. And I think that's it. I think the kids can finally be turned back to normal. Oh, really, Monty? How's that going to work? Well, last time, when you tried to use yourself as a battery to power the kids to turn back into adults, it wasn't enough. We needed all four animatronics, not just you. So, what's going to happen is, all the normal versions of us have to come together and put their power to put into the kids, and hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, that is so brilliant, Monty. I can't wait to see those kids back to their normal age. Actually, I was thinking about some Roxanne. You know, this place is gonna be kinda crowded with the kids getting back to their normal size and everything, and there's already a Monty and a Roxy here. I was thinking maybe you and me can go out on our own. What do you mean, move out? You know, there's not really many places we can go. We're broken animatronics. We can't even work here. Hey there, lovebirds. <laughs> hey, by chance, have you seen an emo version of me running around? Oh, Shadow? Yeah, he was outside. He just got his butt kicked by a baby. <laughs> Shadow getting beat up by a baby. <laughs> I hope they put that as DLC in the next game. Anyway... I'm actually here to look for new hires for my new restaurant, Sonic's Chili Dog Hangout. I'm looking for some spare animatronics that may want a job. Huh, cute animals. There's no more cuter animals than me and my glorious girlfriend, Roxy, here. Um, Monty, once again, we're broken and not really that cute. Well, Roxy, I was going to save this till after the kids turn back to normal, but here's a present from me to you. Babe, what do you think of our new bodies? Oh my goodness, I'm beautiful. Uh, yes, yes, I'd love to work for you, Mr. Sonic. And we could definitely start our life together, Monty. But I would like to say goodbye to the kids one last time. Hun, I think there's plenty that those kids are going to have to deal with without having to say goodbye to us. We'll say our goodbyes another time. But now, Sonic, I think you got two new employees for your chili dog stand. Ugh. <sighs> You're right. Let's start our life together, Monty. Goodbye, Pizzaplex. Okay, kids. Ruin Monty said he finally finished it, and all he needs is for all of us, the four original animatronics, to help you out and power this thing up to turn you back to normal. So you're ready to turn back to normal, kids? <laughs> He said, are you sure this is going to work? Because honestly, whenever they try to turn us back to normal, it just backfires and sends us to some random place or transforms one of you guys. Come on, will you guys just get in the machine? Anyway, this episode is shorter than the rest of them, so obviously something great's going to happen. 
Oh, I'm sure going to miss them being so young and pure. Oh, we had a lot of fun times. Isn't that right, Monty? Uh, speak for yourself, Roxanne. Change those little brats back so I can get on with my life. Monty, you do realize it's your fault they're like that in the first place, right? Alright, that's enough from everyone. I'm turning the switch now. Say goodbye to Small Bean Gregory and Baby Kess. Um, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> yeah, just like you thought, Gregory. It didn't work, and we're in some sort of other dimension or something. <sighs> Actually, where are we? Oh, looky here, Foxy. We got some kids that snuck in here that shouldn't be here. Dum dee dum dum dum. That's what you call kids who sneak inside here. Dum dee dum dum dum. Oh no, Gregory, we're done for. You're right. I think maybe we should stuff them inside an animatronic. Or maybe we should show them what the bite of 87 was like. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kids. You guys want to build a fort or something? Mm -hmm. So, wait, that means you don't want to stuff us inside of animatronics? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I mean, we used to do stuff like that. But for some reason, a little girl drew a picture of us, a little girl just like you actually, and showed us the error of our ways, and ever since then, we became friendly again. Oh, hmm. oh well. So, what brings you two little kids here anyway? Well, technically, I guess we're either from an alternate dimension or a future timeline that hasn't happened yet. So, our main objective was to turn me and my friend back into ten-year-olds because we were turned into babies by an animatronic alligator. Well, you'll learn more about him later. Actually, hopefully you never get to meet him. So then, after many failed attempts, we finally found a way to turn us back here. Huh. I don't got any clue what that means. But I can't give you guys a tour of the whole pizza place. Huh, I got no clue what that means. But in the meantime, I can give you two a tour of the pizza restaurant. Would you like that? Sure, we'd love that. Monty, where are the children? What happened? I don't know what happened. Ruin Monty said this would work out. I barely work on the project this time, so I don't have any clue what to do. Well, you better find out soon, or I'm gonna grab your tail and shove it right up your... Guys, please, calm down. No arguing, no arguing. That's not gonna solve anything. I'm sure Monty can figure this out. Oh, I failed you, little superstar. I'm sorry. <laughs> poor Gregory, poor Cassie. <sighs> God only knows what horrible things they're experiencing right now, wherever they are. Oh.
boiling one right there. They've been broken for a while, just sitting here in the kitchen. Is there anything you can do about it? Of course I can fix her. Chica probably has the same problems that the art Chica has. Eats too much trash in this kitchen. Just fix this wire here and that should do it. Ah! Oh, great all-knowing one. Can you answer the question that will help me and Gregory return to our dimension and also transform us back into our normal selves? No, you fool. She, Chica's not the all-knowing one. I'm the all-knowing one. Mm -hmm. So let me get this straight. You two have come from another dimension or an alternate reality in the future because some robot alligator was trying to turn you back into the age that you were normally at, which he just happened to be the one who turned you into babies in the first place. Do I have that right? Uh, actually, yeah, that's what happened to us to a T. You're like the first person we ever talked to that get this right on the first try. Uh, it's not that hard to understand timey-wimey stuff. I'm a Doctor Who fan anyway. So, the answer to your question is right behind me. This button that says Showtime. Oh, wow, really? Yes, you see the machine that you were using had a connectivity problem that had a breach between your world and timeline and our timeline. Simply pressing that button back there will not only transport you back to your proper timeline, it will also change you back into your proper age. Um, that seems really simplistic and a lazy answer to our problem. Look, the FNAF movie ended with a little girl drawing a picture of string trap destroying us. We really don't have great answers for our continuity. Woohoo! Let's go, cousin! Actually, Greg, it's time for you to go. Wait, what? I'm actually gonna stay here. You see, the animatronics in the future in Security Breach, they have all the things they need to fix themselves. This place is so broken and run down. They can't even fix themselves as if one of them gets broken. So, I'm gonna stay here and take care of them. Oh, I miss you, Percy. I'll miss you too, Gregory. Also, do me a favor. Say goodbye to all the animatronics for me. And tell Roxanne, don't wait anymore. I will. Goodbye, my friend. <sighs> I'm sorry, Superstar. I failed you. I failed to turn you back to your normal age. I failed to protect you. I even failed to keep you in this dimension. I don't know where you are. I would get anything to see you again, Gregory. Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Gregory. <gasps> Gregory! Yep, I'm back, and I'm back to normal. What happened? You're back to normal! Well, me and Cassie got transported to another dimension, and we met the original versions of you. And they were able to figure out what was wrong with the machine, and got me turned back to normal. Roxanne! Come quick! Gregory's back to normal! Oh my goodness, Gregory! You're back to normal! Oh, I'm so happy! But where's Cassie? Well, Roxanne, Cassie decided to stay back where we got transported to. She felt she was still needed there. You know, if it was anyone else, I would say they're out of their mind. But I know how strong-willed Cassie is, and I know she made the right decision for herself. So I'm proud of her. But she did have one me message for you. She told you to stop waiting. I think I know what she means. Hey, Freddy, there's something I need to tell you. Why? You haven't called me Simp Bear in a while? No, it's that you're my Simp Bear now. Mwah!